Okay, let me show you. I really want to show you the start. Okay, of course, you always need a little bit of luck. That's, you know, and we had some luck here. But you also need to be aware of what is happening. Okay, so let's uh, watch a little bit what happened at the start of the race. Especially, I think it was this uh, Audi. We're going to see what is going on. So let's go inside first. Toggle also the hard. Because I want to show you, look at the pedals, okay? So look at the pedals. Now, first thing first, I instantly move into the inside. Uh, sorry, into the outside. Why I do this? The outside trajectory of Monza is safer, okay? It's true that if you go inside, you can, you know, get an opportunity and overtake many peoples, but the outside is safer because if you see some accident happening in front of you or if you see cars arriving from behind, you still have the opportunity to go wide and straight, even accelerate and go straight and be safe, let's say, okay? So, this is what I'm doing here. I know that I'm not going to overtake uh, because it's risky, it's very risky, it's a very low safety rating ra uh, server, so I don't want to risk my race. So I go into the outside at the first opportunity. So look at the mirror, okay? So let's take this slowly. So as you can see, we are at 300, uh, 300 meters and I'm already braking. Now, as you can see, I'm not really braking. I'm touching the brake. So I'm, I'm just bleeding a little bit of speed, but mainly I'm telling my, the rear driver that, you know, brake stops. Look at that, they, they are flashing, you know, so watch out, we are already braking, even though I have space to brake later. Uh, let me show you uh, a little bit. Look at this. So he's also doing the same, which is a good thing. Okay, and we are so, we are 300 meters and I start braking now, you see? And again, and again, and I just modulate my brake. Now I have to brake more because they are also braking. And I see this guy on the mirror arriving. Look at him, he's arriving so fast. So what do I do? What, what did I do? If you watch here, watch the pedals again. So I'm at full braking now, okay? And the guy at the mirror with the Audi missed the braking point and he's arriving so fast. So what do I do? I watch it and go full throttle. Look at this, full throttle. A little bit of luck and I managed to go away. And now that he stopped, I go back into braking again. Yes, a little bit of luck, uh, Aris, whatever you want, but it pays. And look at now, I'm going outside because I know that if someone behind him hits him, he's going to hit me. So I'm going outside. I want to avoid everything. Okay, and I have the opportunity. Now I see that nobody is uh, around me. I'm pretty safe, so I do turn in. I know I'm gonna probably waste and lose a position. Who cares? We all make it through uh, the T1 safely. So let's have a look at this from the outside. Look at that. Now look, look how fast he was arriving. Again, so. I start braking and this Audi here behind me, look at how fast he's arriving. He clearly missed the braking point. He was looking elsewhere and he's arriving so fast and I'm full throttle now, full throttle, accelerate, move ahead. And having let some distance from the guy in front of me pays, pays dividends because I can accelerate without hitting the guy in front of me. Okay, now look how wide I am going. I'm going wide because I want to be safe because I'm afraid that someone here, even more backwards, can, can go in and hit me, no? And in the end, no accident happened and pretty much everybody makes T1 easily. If that guy would eventually hit me, I would have hit the guy in front of me and then, you know, a chain uh, reaction would have been provoked and we would have more and more accidents. So. Let's go ahead and have a look on what's going to happen on the T2. T2, again now, I'm having space, so I'm staying clear. I don't want to go outside this time because I see this guy. 
so I'm staying clear. I don't mind if he overtakes me. I see so many, I mean, look at that. Look at this situation. It's, it's very important to understand, to read the situation. So, I could go again on the outside, because before, Aris, you told us that going on the outside is safer. Yes. But look how many cars there are on the outside. And this guy on the mirror is on the outside. Okay. So I stay on the inside and I let a lot of space from the car in front of me. I'm not going to push the braking to not get overtaken by this guy. Why? Because I know that, of course, he's going to push the brake if he has so much space. Because obviously he has all this space, you know, to... Let me show you also like this so that you people can, uh, sorry, give me a second, so that you people can get, yeah, can see my, cur my mouse cursor. So this guy has all this space in front of him. He can push the braking and overtake me, okay? I leave a lot of space before that guy and I'm not pushing the overtaking, okay? I'm not pushing the braking zone. Why is that? I'll tell you why. Again, let's go inside. Let's say, so you, you would see that, okay, I'm, I'm starting braking soon. Look at the pedals. Look at how soon I'm braking, 200 meters. Because I want to have space, okay? I want to have space. And this guy, obviously, has all the space to get aside of me, okay? And, of course, here he is, he arrives. Why I let him do that? Because in front of me, I have three cars. Even more than three cars, actually, okay? I have three cars, which means that at the T2 entry, there's going to be traffic. And this guy is trapped. He cannot really overtake me with all those cars in front of me. Either he will hit them, if he wants to overtake me, or he will have to stay behind this guy. I can stay behind this guy and do my inner trajectory. And right on, this is what it happens. Look at this. So, braking, 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 braking. Modulating the brake to get closer to the guys. Staying very close inside. The guy is coming next to me. Look at this. But he has nowhere to go. That's it. So now, I release my brakes. And in I go. And did you saw that? At the outside, an accident happened. And I had all the place to do. Because I knew there was traffic at the outside. This guy now has to jump and go through it. He has to find a solution. Luckily, he's doing it well. You know, he will go ahead of me. Okay, no big deal. But, you know, we are safe. We managed to overtake two, two places. Great. Okay? So, you need to actually try and read what is going on. In, in the race, and not just in front of you exactly, but also two cars in front of you, one car behind you, and so on, or two cars behind you. You need to have a, you need to think a lot, okay, and take decisions, also having experience also pays. Look how I create the overtaking opportunity. Now, I know I'm so close. I could break very close to him and stay close to him, but I don't. I break earlier to let some space and then get a better exit. Look at this. This is creating overtake opportunity. Doesn't have to work, but look, I'm already braking and modulating my brakes. He's braking late, you know, because he's afraid, and he's going a little bit wide. Now, this is my occasion to go full throttle way before the apex. He's with the traction control, ding, 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 sliding, and I'm already so much faster. I can even overtake him at the straight line, don't even need to get uh, the slipstream. Doesn't always happen. You're going to find, uh, I don't know, Jardier in front of you, which is going to be much faster than you. But this is always the same kind of thinking that you have to do. <laughs> okay. Similar here. Again, an eye behind me to see what's going on, you know, if I have to release the brakes or not. Always keep an eye behind. And one of the most important things, when you are keeping an eye behind, you shouldn't, one of the, you know, uh, errors that many drivers, myself too, I was doing, is that you keep on braking because you're looking behind. No, you have to release the brakes and get into the turn as fast as possible. 
because if you do it properly, the guy behind you cannot get you. If you keep breaking because you don't watch him where you're going, uh, the guy behind you will get you because he will be inside the turn faster than you. This is one of the most important things to learn. Now, look at him. Now, this guy, he is not that fast, but he's great. Look at whatever he did was perfect. So, inside line, I will stay here. You want to overtake me, go around. You know? But he's very clearly indicating me that, you know what, I'm staying inside. That's perfect. I know exactly, he's predictable for me. I know exactly what I have to do. So, we go in. He gets his smart. He's breaking earlier and he stays on the apex. So, I cannot cross the lines. Okay. So he stays on the apex. I go over here, but I cannot actually accelerate more because he's on the apex. Where, where do I have to go? You know, I just have to wait. So I'm waiting. You see here, I'm waiting here. And then I accelerate with him. And he already states, I think he could, he could go a little bit on the wide side and then go uh, inside again. But he chooses to stay on the inside. It, it makes sense. The speed is lower, so he makes less you know, meters of space, because we are going slow. Uh, so, not bad. And then, what he does is, you know what, mate, he's telling me, I'm staying inside. Don't even think about it to go on the inside. I'm, I'm here, I'm staying inside. And it's so clear to me, I have nothing to do. I, I, it's so predictable to me. So what do you do? Go outside. Now, here's where he, either because he lacked the experience or he didn't you know practice enough here's the his error he's staying way too much on the inside okay and he probably sorry he probably doesn't know where to start his where is his braking reference for this line because obviously if you are outside you know you're gonna break a little bit before the 150 meters but when you are inside you need to break a little bit sooner where does he break he breaks much sooner than that. Look at this. He starts breaking now. He's way behind 150 meters because obviously he's afraid that he won't be able to make the turn. So what you can do? You can practice alone. And instead of just, you know, trying to do the best possible lap, every single lap that you do, you can practice defensive lines and r breaking reference points for your defensive line. So once you are in the race, you know that, okay, I'm in defensive live, I have to break a little bit sooner, but not that sooner. Okay. Again, practice, but practice with method. Okay, be, be smart about it. So, okay, he, he's breaking way sooner than me. I'm breaking, obviously, correctly. I'm even modulating the brakes because I wanted to see what is going on. And I just, you know, go outside of him easily. No big deal, but that's a different aspect. The fact is that, as a racer, he was perfect. And that's the most important thing. Oh, he's here in the chat, the guy. Great, great. Perfect racer. Perfect racer. Again, exit. Get in. Try to have a great exit so that you can get the slipstream. So now I get the slipstream here. And obviously I'm waiting to see what this guy is going to decide. He stays on the outside. Okay. So I'm just, you know, pushing my braking limit. Stay on the apex. Don't go wide because otherwise obviously he's going to cross and be fast. And there we go again. The Bentley was also interesting, I think. Now, he is not doing something wrong, but he is hesitant. This potentially could be, uh, you know, uh, an accident um, creation. Because as you can see, he is trying to defend the inner line, but he's hesitant. He's not really going uh, way to the inner. So I could have followed the slipstream and tried to go to the inner one, and that would be a risky situation. Now, I wouldn't do it, but other drivers might do it how you can, you know, make sure that other drivers do not try that. Don't be hesitant and go into the middle of the road. Go full inside. Go full inside. So let's see that. So he sees that I'm arriving and he stays in the middle. Don't do that. Okay. 
Don't do that. Go inside. Go inside. Because if I go full inside here, he either has to, you know, go into the inside himself, and we have two cars with the one behind in slipstream. So it, it's a risky situation. So go full inside, and I tell you what you can do. Once you go full inside, and the opponent, me in this case, goes outside like this. Okay. Now, if you are here instead of where he is, he's almost at the middle of the road. So if he's full at the right of the road, the moment that I go on the outside and I go by, by him side by side, then you can start squeezing the other guy you know, towards the outside. That is the correct way to do it. So you go full inside, you make sure that the guy behind you understands that you're going to defend, that he cannot pass into the east side, so you are safe. Once the guy decides to go to the outside, you start squeezing, 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 squeezing to the outside, and that will permit you, you know, you see how, where he stays. He stays in the middle of the road. He should have been at least half a car closer to me, because by squeezing, he doesn't let me to do my trajectory. Instead, since I see that I have space here, I can do a much better trajectory, you see? and stay on his outside. If he had squeezed me, he could have done a faster trajectory, and at this point here, he could have been much farther ahead of me and get the apex. What he did, the way he did it, he wasn't that fast in, into this corner, and so he couldn't get the apex on the second corner. All right, so again, That was close over there, but again, good racer, good racer. But he put himself into a risky situation because if I would, if I was a little bit unlucky, or if uh, his opponent was a less careful driver, it could have been an accident, uh, not his fault, not his fault, not his, this guy's fault, not the Bentley's fault. Uh, but you know, if you have an accident, even if it's not your fault, you have an accident you might have spun, so you lose time, you lose uh, mental health and all of that. So, uh, make your moves in a way that you don't put yourself so much at risk, you know? Yes, the other guy might not move if you squeeze him. Obviously, you have to be careful, but if you see that their guy is, you know, way or, or much farther than you, you know, Try at least, try. Now, here again, of course, here he just, you know, raises his hands and he, he surrenders, so I can go in. Now, here's again what I've been saying to you. Look at that. So, I'm trying to go into the inner side. I, you will see on the pedals that I am modulating the brake pedal to go aside him. Okay. Very good braking. And now, I'm releasing the brake pedal. Because what I need to do is get into the apex as fast as possible. If I keep, you know, breaking because I'm afraid that the other guy is beside me, this means that I will get into the apex slow, and that will give an opportunity to the other guy to stay aside me on the outside. But now I'm releasing the brakes, and I'm going to try to get into the apex as fast as possible. And Right away, you can see that I'm not braking anymore. I'm on the apex. I can see on the radar that I am in front of the guy, but I also know that I'm in front of the guy because there is no way with that speed I'm getting, he could be on the side of me. And that means that, you know what? I can get wider now. That's how you do it. So often, I, al I also was doing this same error. I was, you know, trying to overtake and while I was side by side with the other guy, I would keep, you know, breaking and breaking and breaking to let space. What you really want to do is release the brakes, go into the apex as fast as you want when the other guy is side by side, not when he's in front of you. When, if it's in front of you, you want to keep on breaking because otherwise you're going to get him, you know. Uh, but if it's side by side, you want to release the brakes, go in fast, because if you go in fast, he will stay outside and behind you. And once he, uh, he's behind you, you can go wide and, you know, maintain position. All right. So this is it. Um, last last uh, lap here. The guy did everything correctly. 
didn't let me any space, you can see here. I tried to get the slipstream, but the Mercedes is really fast in acceleration, so it goes a way little bit, and then as the speed goes higher and higher, I get the slipstream, and I get uh, besides him, but I still don't have the speed to, you know, I'm trying here. So, now, here, here is the, the situation. Now, this is, this is risky for both of us. As you can see, he tried to pull the braking zone as late as possible. You see, he's already over the, almost at the 100 sign, and he's still not braking, okay? Now, over the 100 sign, and now he brakes. Now, he did everything correct. I, was the I, I took the risk because it was the last corner. Uh, if you see, I am going to modulate the brake to get even closer to put him under pressure. You see, here, I just modulate the brake to go a little bit inside and see if I can, you know, find space. And actually, there was space. You see, he's also hesitant. Should I go in? Should I not go in? This is a risky situation, okay. Uh, in my opinion, he should have stayed on, you know, left me the outside. Left me the outside and then squeeze again. Uh, not let me the inside and go uh, on, on the outside himself. He probably thought that I wasn't close enough to, you know, try and, uh, you know, try an overtaking maneuver. But you also have to think and know how different cars react. For example, the Ferrari doesn't have lots of acceleration, but it has a lot of apex speed and good brakes. So you have to think, okay, this guy is close enough, he's gonna try it. It's the last corner of the race. So better go inside and defend, okay? Um, it's safer for you. Now, obviously here, there is space. You can see from above, I could try, okay? But he's closing, and if I could try there, it's, you know, it's mathematical, I would have hit him at his uh, uh, rear uh, right wheel and he would have spun so uh, again great racing excellent fantastic we had fun but the problem is the mercedes driver uh, biermann uh, he put himself in a risky position so if the guy behind me took the risk and uh, you know hit him the fault would have been ex uh, exclusively mine Okay, but why put yourself in a risky position? So try to uh, learn the situation. So the situation here is this one. So I'm in front, okay, I have the Mercedes. I know I'm gonna have to, to break. So he's already going for the inside, but at the last moment he goes outside. Stay here, stay on this side. And if you see that I stay on this side, squeeze, right? So stay on the inside. Don't put yourself into a risky situation, you know, because he put himself into a risky situation like that. Okay? So that, that's it. Uh, 